What does the C stand for in E equals MC squared? Is it the uh, speed of light? That is correct. Whoa! Uh, I'm gonna go science 200. When a female's body releases an egg, it's called ovulation. <laughs> Damien is correct. I'm gonna just go. So Damien has 300 points. Everyone else has zero. Uh, I'm gonna go 200 for government. Wow. What percentage of Congress is needed for a supermajority in order to override a presidential veto? Is it 66 percent? That is correct. Yay! Wow, nailing it. Um, I will do random for 100, Alex. Name the biggest island in the world. Olivia. Hawaii. That is incorrect. Ian, Madagascar. Damien. Australia. That is also in... What? Courtney. Puerto Rico? No. <laughs> it's in Greenland. Yeah. Uh, Greenland. Come on. Olivia, why don't you pick another question? Why? Just because everybody's wrong. Uh, I will do English for 200. What is the term for a comma used after the second to last item in a... Oh, ow. Is that Ian? Oxford comma? That is correct. I only know that because on dating apps, every quirky girl thinks it's really quirky to be like, fan of the Oxford comma. Yeah. Ian, pick another question. Oh, certainly. Let's go random for 150. How many teeth are in a typical adult mouth? Courtney. 26. Incorrect. 32. That is correct. Damien. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, Damien gets 150 points. Yeah. Um, let me get that science for 150. What is the hottest planet in the solar system? Damien. I didn't even push. That's, yeah. that's Mercury. That is incorrect. Whoa. Ian. Venus. That is correct. Oh, Mars. Mars is cold. Courtney, take a question. Government for 100, Shania. How many total electoral college votes are there? 61, 100, 348, or 538? Go with Damien. Uh, 348. Incorrect. The 501. That is correct. I should have let you go for it. <laughs> Ian, take a question. English for 100. Who is the author of the famous novel, Pride and Prejudice? Jane Austen. That is correct. Uh, Shane, you knew that so obviously, but we, I was even... That feels like the most obvious question. Sorry, let's just do random for 200. From which flower is the vanilla flavor derived? Uh, what's vanilla bean? <laughs> Three, two, one... You've all given up. Uh, this is actually interesting. I'm going to point the green. Orchid. I will, whoa, okay, damn. Can I speak English for 50? English for 50. Uh, which word is a gerund? Walked, walks, or walking? Damien, walking. That is correct. I don't know what gerund is. No. He's the dude from Witcher 3. Whoa, uh, hell yeah, dude. English for 150. What is a bibliophile? Wow. Uh, somebody that enjoys reading? That, that is correct. Oh, it is a person who collects or has great love of books. So, yeah, yeah, good job. Since, uh, Ian, so far in the running, uh, we're going to make this next one double. Who was Bill Clinton's vice president? Oh, my God. Ian.